In a joint statement, the group of eight leaders said Pyongyang should visibly, verifiably, and irreversibly dismantle its nuclear weapons program. The leaders also called on Iran to meet its obligations on nuclear proliferation. They said Tehran should accept more intrusive UN inspections without conditions. The comments come amid growing concerns by the international community that both North Korea and Iran are developing nuclear weapons to sell to rogue nations or terrorists. Iran says it has a vibrant nuclear research program, but has denied allegations it is seeking to produce nuclear weapons. North Korea has acknowledged it has a nuclear weapons program. At their summit, the G8 leaders described weapons of mass destruction as the leading threat to international security. They called for tighter international export controls to ensure weapons and radioactive materials will not fall into the hands of terrorists. After the summit meeting, President Bush and French President Jacques Chirac held bilateral talks geared at resolving bitter differences over the U.S.-led war in Iraq. It was their first face-to-face -face meeting since the conflict. Mr. Bush talked to reporters. We can have disagreements, but that doesn't mean we have to be disagreeable to each other. And so I'm very glad I came and would say absolutely that this has been a very helpful and a positive meeting. Mr. Chirac echoed Mr. Bush's comments. France later announced plans to send French special forces to work with U.S. peacekeepers in Afghanistan. On Sunday, the leaders said their countries would provide billions of dollars in the global fight against AIDS and take measures to improve international economic cooperation. Meanwhile, 16 kilometers away from where the leaders are meeting, anti-globalization protesters clash with French riot police. They used tear gas and water cannon to disperse thousands of demonstrators who tried to block roads leading to the summit meeting. Continuing demonstrations are likely as the G8 leaders hold more meetings Tuesday that will focus on economic and political issues. Chris Simpkins, VOA TV.